Hey guys. <laughs> Sorry for the crappy quality. <laughs> but today, um, I thought you guys deserved to know something about me. And, um, I know I do not have, like, any subscribers. I think I have, like, two. <laughs> but, um... I use YouTube as a way to kind of vent, um, and also to just feel like my word got out there. But also, for I'm doing this also for people who do come to my channel, if anyone ever does, who do come to my channel and just want to know this about me, or, you know, I just feel like people should know this about me, just because I, I'm not really ashamed of it because it's who I am, and there's nothing that I can do, even, I, I mean, trust me, I've tried, but there's really nothing I can do, this is me, and if you don't like it, then don't watch my videos, but anyway, so, the thing about me is that I am diagnosed with, um, uh, general anxiety disorder, and major depressive disorder. So, MDD and GAD. And, um, I have struggled with this not my whole life, uh, to be honest. <laughs> um, it kind of developed around middle school. And, like, it started during middle school. Um, the beginning of middle school, I got diagnosed with scoliosis. And I had to wear this giant, I mean, full body um, brace, and it was hard plastic. And I was 100% embarrassed by it. I did not want to wear it, you know, ever. And um, I had to buy clothes that were like 10 times my size so that people wouldn't catch on that I was wearing this giant brace. And this brace was huge. I mean, it came up to here. It was a cutout for my boobs to breathe. It came up to here, and then it was on my stomach, on my back, and there's it was just tight, and it came up, like, right here, and it would chafe under my arms, and it came all the way to, um, like, right after my butt stopped. So, it, it was a pretty big cast. <laughs> so, mm, yeah, I had to get everything bigger just so I could hide the fact that I was wearing this giant brace and I hated it I hated it so much and in those days I my brain would like rearrange itself to like make myself think that everyone hated me because of my brace and that my brace was the reason that people didn't like me and blah 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 and you know just a whole bunch of nonsense um and I it me really upset because I didn't want to wear that and it was just it was hard it was really horrible and I know people have so much more things to worry about but like my feelings are still valid so you know whatever I'm rambling um so that's what kind of it didn't you know that wasn't the, the trigger I guess I should say um but it was definitely kind of a part of it, because it did make me not really like myself too much. Um, but yeah. So, then, kind of the middle of 7th grade, um, <clears throat> my best friend in the entire universe, my grandfather, passed away. He passed away um, in the hospital from complications and whatnot. Um, and that broke my heart because he was my best friend in the entire universe. I loved him more than I've ever loved anyone. And, um, it was just really hard around that time. Sorry if you hear my brother playing with his lightsaber. Yeah. It was just really hard. So anyway, and mm, that, uh, I would say, is what triggered the my horrible problems. Um, so, I 
can't deal with death well at all. I'm really bad with death and it's just really bad. And I've had a ton of people in my life pass away, people that I have loved pass away. And it really takes a toll on me and I just, I can't deal with death. I can't, I can't, I can't. And I'm also, I struggle with the worst feelings of abandonment and I can't handle being by myself. And a lot of people don't understand that. A lot of people are like, so how do you live your everyday life? I mean, sometimes you have to be alone and blah, 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 blah. But when I say alone, I'm, I know that sometimes I need to be alone and I need to be on my own and whatnot, but when I say alone, I mean with people in my life, and that caused me to do a lot of stupid stuff for people that were the worst people on earth, and me to just keep taking them back because I don't want to be alone, and I don't want to be left, and whatnot. But anyway, <laughs> that's another part of the whole story. But yeah, that, my grandfather passing away kind of triggered everything just because I felt like he left me alone. <laughs> and I hate being left. I hate... I hate being left alone. So, yeah, that kind of sucked. And anyway, um, a little bit before him, actually, my grandmother passed away. So it was like two, two bad things just right there, right next to each other. It was, it was literally a couple months away, you know, with in each other, and I just got away from her funeral, and I just sort of stopped crying every day about her, and then that happened, and it was just, it was a shit show. Um, anyway, and that sucked. It sucked a lot. <laughs> I didn't really know what to do, but what can you do? So anyway, that happened. Um, eighth grade year rolled around, and eighth grade year's pretty okay, um, until I got a boyfriend. <laughs> and that boyfriend was the worst person that had ever, was the person that probably impacted me in my feelings the most. Um, and they... I'm not even going to go into detail about them. Just know that they were really bad. Um, anyway. And so I, I stayed with them. I stayed with them. And you want to know why I stayed with them? Because I convinced myself that, you know, I was in love with them and that I would do anything to make them better and that I could fix them and that I don't want to be alone. And if I'm alone, then what am I going to do? That's why. So, anyway, moving on. I stayed with them throughout the horrible stuff that I had to deal with. And, yeah. So, after that, me and him broke up. And I was heartbroken. I really was. I was heartbroken and devastated because that meant that I was alone. And that someone that I considered a, a person that I loved didn't care about me at all. And it was obvious that they didn't care about me at all. But anyway, freshman year came and I started dating another, a different boy. And um, that relationship was fine. It was great. But he decided that... He didn't want me anymore. Um, and so he broke up with me. And I was really heartbroken. Because I get so attached to people. I get so attached. And it's a really big problem. Anyway. He broke up with me. And I was devastated again. And two days later, he started dating someone else. So that literally just broke me. Because... It made me feel like I wasn't enough 
that he needed someone else because I couldn't fulfill his needs and that I, even my best, wasn't good enough. And I would look at myself in the mirror every day and wonder why I wasn't enough. And then eventually I started believing that I wasn't enough and I started hating myself and hating everything about myself and just, I despised myself. And I had a, a lot of problems that got, that sent me into the hospital. I'm not gonna get into that, I just know that I was in the hospital. Um, so I was in the hospital for a week and I got help and I got officially diagnosed and I got put on a medication. Um, so yeah, I ended, yeah, that, that happened. and. I was in there for a week because I made really good progress, which is great. I'm so happy that I made good progress, you know? That's important. Um, anyway. And I, after I did a play, I continued with soccer, and I moved on, you know, from all the stuff that happened before the hospital. But... I still have horrible, horrible days, and I still have horrible weeks and horrible months, and you know how that goes, especially with the illness that I have, illnesses that I have. So, you know, I, even though I am a pretty happy kid now, um, sometimes I'm not such a happy kid, and that will probably reflect with my videos. So, all I ask from you guys is to bear with me, as I do have these illnesses and I, I want to be able to grow um, as a person and to kind of understand myself a little bit better, and I'm really using YouTube to do that because that's what I want for myself and that's what I need for myself. So, yeah, that's about it, and um... If you guys want updates on anything, just let me know, and I will definitely make videos about that. I'm probably going to make videos about it anyway, but yeah, that's it. Bye!